Welcome in guys, John Sims here, and we've got the video. Everybody's asked me on the platform, hey John, what are the top five players in each position? What are the filters for the positions? This is how I analytically break down my positions or my players in every single position. Uh, there's a lot of different detail that goes into this. There's a lot of analysis and I'm doing this 100% raw with no editing. So bear with me guys. Remember my content is not for the algorithm. It's for you and how we do it raw. So I'm not trying to, you know, clip things or make things look a little nice or whatnot. It's all about a discussion. Comment below in each, in each category, but basically uh, we're going to start with, we're going to start with the uh, goalkeepers, right? Uh, it's basically goalkeepers, right? Well, the, the, the main thing is you want positioning and reflexes and height. Okay. The goalkeepers are pretty easy. As long as they have good links, you want high positioning, big body style, and then you want reflexes. And, but the last stat guys is maybe arguably the most crucial in my opinion. And that's speed because that is. If you have a high speed uh, goalkeeper, he's going to be in a better position. If you have a high speed goalkeeper, he's going to be able to dive better. Uh, diving does matter, but that's my take on goalkeepers. Okay, that's pretty. It's pretty basic. Uh, you know, I've used Donnarumma since the beginning, and you know, just it, goalkeepers are pretty easy. But we're moving on to right backs. Okay, guys. So right backs. What is the best filter for right backs? And so this is how we break back break down the right backs. First off, guys, I don't like a right back. That is under 85 pace, and the reason why is a shadow, okay? We can put a shadow on him to boost him up to 95 pace. So that's the minimum I go with when it comes to pace on my right backs, left backs, okay? Actually, we can do this for right backs and left backs, so might as well go ahead and do that for right backs, left backs, okay? So both both those, both of these occur, okay? Um, and so at the end, we'll just switch it from left back to right back to show you, but basically 85 pace, right? That's a huge deal. My reactions, I don't like to be below 80 reactions for a wing back. My my strength, I like to be around 75. Marking, I like to be at least 75. Um, but you know, it's one of those things that it's more about it's hard to explain because uh, you know, shadow will boost it up to 80. Me personally, and high level gameplay, I won't play with anything below 80 to 80. I don't uh 85 is, is ideal, but interceptions, I like to be about at least uh, at least 80 because that boosts up to 90. So, you know, marking, which is defensive awareness, we're going to be at 75. And so essentially, guys, this is that that's all I'm really looking for when it comes to wingbacks. And look how small that list breaks down. And guess why I use Jordan Mavi and not uh, Farrell and Mindy It's because of this. And he also has the five star week, but plus he's he's able to he's appreciating value. The Lodi card is fantastic. Theo Hernandez, all very, very solid cards, especially Theo's strength uh, sets them apart. Now, Fairland Mindy is very good, but this is my left. These are this is how I break down the left back and right back position. OK, so now we're moving on to the right backs here. We're going to swap that out and basically the same thing. Now you got Kyle Walker, you got Mukiele. Uh, however, uh, where does I think it might be? We break down interceptions. Then you got that Traore card. And uh, then you got Pedro Poro, which is one of the cards. But, uh, you know, there's something weird about Hakimi and his links. And so uh, Hakimi is very, very close on this. If you actually look, some of these cards are right off the filters, guys. So, But this is a really good judge uh, judgment. But you see it right at 75. Uh, you see it right underneath 80. That's what held him back. Uh, but the reactions are high and so what we do is actually since he's kim style efficient with that high pace we can actually boost awareness by 10. uh interceptions are a little bit lower than i like but the dribbling becomes absolutely superb so that's why i like hakimi more and so guys these filters aren't exactly perfect but they give you a very good broad sense of where you want to base your structure from and if they are good for kim styles so Basically, Kim styles make a huge difference in knowing how to boost into these positions. And so, uh, Hakimi is unique with that 95 pace, and that's why he gets up there. But there, the list, you know, the list, list does matter. Okay, so now we go in, and uh, I, I, if you follow me from TikTok, or you follow me from other platforms, all that type of stuff. Basically, you'll know that my center backs, guys, my center backs, 
my positioning of my center backs is about 75 pace. I like to have my marking at, uh, let's say, at least 85, right? Well, we don't really necessarily. Um, agility, I like to have my agility at like 70, but let's just say 65 is probably good. Uh, just give you a little bit bigger of a, a list. Now, strength, it can be 85, guys. Um, on TikTok, I like this to be a bit higher because that's why I play with 90 plus. And then, let's see here, da, 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 composure, where are we looking at? Pace at 75, Agil reactions. I like my reactions to be high, about 85. That's what's gonna give you the best. But uh, if we drop it to 83, that's gonna give us a much larger list. Uh, and I just wanna show you guys there's the ability to see a lot more players uh, just by dropping these just a hair. If you just do this and you drop them one, two points, you'll see a lot more, lot larger list essentially. But Sebastian Coates, Umtiti, and uh, Dante are three of the top uh, center backs combined with strength, reaction, speed, agility. All of this makes a huge difference. But if we go to this agility, or if we go to, uh, we go to marking, we go to marking and we drop this to 80, this list becomes a little bit bigger with Diego Carlos. We drop this, uh, if we drop this to strength to 80, you get like, oh, excuse me. Like I said, guys, not edited. But if we drop the strength to 80, this is these are the guys that, that pop in. And these are all very, 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 very solid players. And that is kind of how we choose center backs. And so if you've ever played against Ender Militao, he's very, very solid. But if you notice, guys, somebody that's not here is actually Kempembe. Because Kempembe's reactions drop to about 80. And so we get very, a little bit closer to that, that core value. And so all these players are going to be very good. It's just that some of these, you know, Kempembe, do I, Kempembe and Manolis to me feel about the exact same. I'm, I, I get a lot of hate for thinking that, but the thing about it is that's just how it is. Now, uh, Kempembe is a little bit better, a lot better with passing and, and kind of ball control, but Manolis and Kempembe feel about the same. Now, those are all very, very solid cards, guys. These are all cards that I would play with. I wouldn't play with anything outside of this realistically. Maybe, uh, yeah, definitely cool ball and maybe the lit. Those two cards are also very, very solid. Again, guys, if we drop the agility, if we drop the agility just a hair to 60, then we're looking at a few more cards on the market here, like Bahrain and Rudiger. And so those are both very solid cards as well. So if you kind of see VVD gets in the market then, and so, that's where that's where all these stats combined create this this angle and this opportunity and these things. And so, if we move on to a CDM position, guys, me personally, I like to consider a CDM position and a center mid position completely different, big time different. It has to do with work rates. It has to do with work rates 100%. Um, also, guys, on the center back, I didn't throw the work rate. Uh, I didn't throw the work rate here. So make sure you try to get them to have a high work rate because that makes a huge difference in selection. And so, and, that, and stamina, work rate and stamina have to make a big difference. A lot of those little, little tiny stats make a big difference later in the game. Majority of the game, guys, you're not going to notice a difference in play style. But once it hits the 60th minute plus, once those stamina starts to drop, all their stats start to drop, all their defensive awareness. And so then it's, it's about reacting to the opponent. And so that's why uh, super subs, I'll get into my super sub positioning as well. But basically, we are moving on to CDMs, okay, CDMs here. And what I suggest with a CDM is first off, I'd like to have my pace at least 75. I, I can't have it lower than 75, okay? 75 minimum on, on a CDM positioning. Now, marking, I want to try to get him up to 80. However, 75 is okay. But when it comes to a CDM position, I'd really like it to be 80. Now, vision, vision and passing if you guys can get that to 85 that makes a huge difference in the in from going from semi-assisted to assisted because if we go into the actual gameplay deep dive if i bring up is this nope that's me if i bring up the gameplay deep dive and i talk about this guys this is why this is why we follow this content uh you're not gonna find this anywhere else this is why i go over my con coaching sessions 85 one two vision so vision assistance increases base attribute from 85 to 99 and guys this is why you watch the full video because you never know what you're going to get but basically guys if passing is on semi-assisted but once it goes to 85 it goes to assisted 
That's huge! And guess what? The game out with this in July. We I knew about this before the game came out. So remember, make sure you study the game. But but that's why also why you watch this content, because I help you guys find that stuff. Now composure is pretty high, uh, is a big deal, but necessarily uh, for fire for finding a budget deal or a budget buy. Uh, we, we have pace and marking right now. Now stamina is crucial. I like to have a minimum, minimum of 85 stamina. Okay, guys, minimum of 85 stamina. What does that do? That drops us to only these players when it comes to a CDM. Okay, this is this is with vision, marking, pace, and stamina alone. That's it. And now if we, we go and we throw in a work rate of a high defensive work rate, it drops even smaller and boom, right? However, you know, I actually personally, I'm playing with uh, I'm playing with my man Vieira right now. But guys, these three are probably my favorite CDMs in the game. Rykar is always solid. He's like the budget. He's the budget by Vieira. This Frankie de Young card is absolutely insane. But let's say we don't, we don't talk about this work rate. We don't talk about the work rate. This is the list that's going to be very, very solid. Uh, but here's the thing, guys. So that's why I really, I really, if I see this card, I know that the opponent is very good because it's close to that pace, but he loses some of the, the positioning stats, but it doesn't really matter because you're never really pushing forward with him. If we drop this vision, if we drop the vision, this is the list that comes up. And that's why that Franco Onyeka card is highly playable. That's why you see this live, this type of card. Now, Jude Bellingham just doesn't, you know, he, it's a decent card, but it's just not there. Uh, Delaney card is there as well, but this Fred card, Zicardia, this is where you see, that's why you're seeing all these, and you see Conte, we see, you know what I mean? And so it, that's where that vision stat makes a huge difference from semi to full assisted. However, does it, is it necessarily matter? No. So basically I'd like my passing, my passing to be about 80. So let's just keep the passing at 80. And these guys are going to be arguably your best center CDMs that you can play with. Now, um... If we drop the pass to like 77, you get Conte in there, and we all know Conte is fantastic. So I don't want I don't want to like underrate that you know Conte's in there, but he's very he's very close to that passing stat. But just to know that is when it comes to the key differences is really that vision stat when it comes to the CDM and the work rates. Those are the two major factors. So if we go and throw that defensive work rate then these this is probably arguably these are probably arguably the players that you would be looking for when it comes to it outside of maybe having like a Vieira or a frank Wright card or a dijon card uh because those are all very 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 good cards but okay guys now we're going to move on more to the center mid position me personally i always recommend playing with a center mid paired with a cdm minimum having one cm that can push forward okay so a lot of this is close a lot of this is close but what drops is our marking our stamina stays about the same our passing actually goes up okay uh, I, I don't recommend playing with anything under than that 85 vision because that is absolutely a crucial stat now okay so that vision stat changes things okay and so now we're going to go into uh defensive awareness let's just say a minimum of 60 you want to know why if we go back to this defense if we go back to if we go back to the gameplay deep dive the speed scales from 60 to 99 in defense awareness so basically guys the jockey max speed when you're jockeying when you see that when you see defense awareness that's two things your ai saying okay i'm gonna follow this player one and two it's the speed that you can jockey. And so anything over 60, if it's 59, it's not going to feel that great. If it's 60 plus, he's going to have a lot faster movement. From 59 to 60, there's a big difference. But 60 to 90, that's why Conte feels insane. Because his size and his defense awareness are extremely high. He is in-game when it comes to that movement. But we don't necessarily care totally about that but we do want the accelerated movement we do want that next we do want that mechanic that is there now when it comes to dribbling i think that agility i think uh i think i want i would think i really just want dribbling to be a minimum of 80. um i think that you can get a little bit further with kim styles you know engines stuff like that uh, so we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there i think we want a minimum of 75 pace i think that's fair as well and then I say that our stamina is good, our physicality. It's just a 
tad bit different with the vision and then the defensive drops um now positioning is key we want we want about 80 positioning okay positioning is a very 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 big stat and guys this is the list and that's why you see a lot of Brunos. That's why you see a lot of Marco Lorente. That's why you see Nicola Borea. That's why you see a lot of Pofana. That's why you see Nkuku. That's why you see all these players. However, guys, I forgot to show on the CDMs and the center mids. Guys, remember, we're doing this uh, live. So reaction stats are huge. Uh, so, you know, the, heart, the better the player, the higher the reactions. That limits this. And so then we have Nkuku. We have uh, Pofana. We have Nicola Borea. And then that is probably the best. This is the filter for your best center mid box to box. Now, if you go with work rates, you can go high, high and try seeing high, high work rates. And uh, you can look into like min weak foot. I like a four star weak foot in the min weak in the midfield. And that's why I use Fofana. However, there's not enough players to be able to pair. And so I use Nkuku as well. And so that is why I use both of these cards. And then I've used both of these cards. And I've used this card and this card. I've played with all these, majority of these cards that are in the market here. Now, Michael Ballack, Xavi, you know, Hullet, of course, is there. Seydorf, you know, even this John Barnes, except for his defense is, uh, <laughs> I guess you could play with him. Um, the only thing is, uh, when you see something like this, just remember that, uh, oh my goodness, this is actually not bad. Not terrible. You <laughs> it's not terrible. It's a not bad center mid, you know what I mean? But uh, there you go. Uh, and that's how we find these weird little connections in the midfield. Okay, so that's the center mid position. And that is the center mid position. So we have a CDM and center mid, right? And now we're going to talk about right wings and right mids compared to attackers just now, okay? So here's the thing. Also, the center mids, guys, if we actually go back to this, uh, I just want to touch on this. Uh, some of these guys are a little bit more versatile as a center mid. So, like, a guy like Christopher and Cuckoo, um, I love this card because his agility is a little bit higher. And so, when you get this accelerated agility and this is all decent, what I actually use is a marksman because I boost this stuff up a little bit. I boost this up. I boost his dribbling up, his strength. And now he becomes a 92 cam and a 91 center mid. So, he's not, like extremely good defensively a lot of people are just going to do this and they're going to boost this and barely get a little bit of defensive awareness and make him you know decent you know a little bit more decent defensively but me personally i play with two other center mids and so cdms and boom so i get this and i get a huge attacking player but i play in a and i can swap my formation out and so that's that is essentially the difference there and that's why i love that in cuckoo card but here we're going to be moving on to our wing backs our wings our, our positions on the wing here so left mid right mid it the only thing that's different guys is the foot is the matter okay left foot generally on the left or on the right and right foot generally on the left that's generally the case however the diaby card is fantastic okay going into this pace guys we want a minimum a minimum of the wing i i don't want anything lower than 90 pay or 89 or 80 let's say 88 because if we throw a hunter we can become style efficient on the wing okay um so we don't want anything lower than 88. Now our positioning is is key, guys. 90. We want 90. 90. That is huge. And so that limits this all the way down. That's why I love the Diaby. That's why I love Sterling, Mane, Son, Son, Son. <laughs> but guys, these are the only cards I would really recommend playing with. Um, now, if we drop that positioning stat down to 85, it opens us up just a little bit. You see that? just a little bit and there's a big deal because that defensive awareness and those positioning stats create space and time and those are those little details that you can't be controlling every single player all the time and that's where these come into factor that's why i love raheem sterling off the bench but all these cards this is literally this is essentially what i choose now you can go with you know five star skills uh but generally these are going to be the best cards to play with because like let's pick out you know let's pick out venetius this this Vinny card, right? Now we can throw in a dead eye and put it boost it up to ten points. All right. So realistically, we just don't want to be lower than like ninety. So you know, if we even drop this positioning to, we drop the positioning to not uh, to eighty. Basically, we want to be Kim style efficient on the dribble. So that means our dribbling, we want we want you know, we want dribbling to be you know 90, 90 plus. We want agility to be ninety plus. Anything below that is not going to be great for us, right? 
And so then these are the cards that we can be Kim Sal efficient with that would still be solid without the 90 plus of positioning. And that's why Neymar is still playable. Ginola is superb. And so that's where those little tiny details come in. So like a guy like Ginola, you're more likely going to put like a hunter on him. And he's Kim Sal efficient on the dribbling. He's Kim Sal efficient on the passing. You get full pace and you get up to 90 positioning. However, however, that's still lower than I'd like. So you're going to have to utilize creative runs more in the high level gameplay. Uh, the next stat that I would really talk about is actually finishing. Finishing is the biggest stat when it comes to striker, uh, winger uh, versatility. So if you're thinking of a versatile wing uh, striker, it's going to be that finishing stat that's going to be key. And so that's where all these little tiny details come into factor. But if we just stick at 80 positioning and then we go into our finishing, we go into finishing, we want to try to get to at minimum 85 finishing and boom that drops the list to this so this is this is going to be the end list that you're going to really want to play with uh, at the highest level guys that you're going to notice the biggest difference okay so you just remember all these kim styles make these cards much much different and playable in game that's why they may feel completely different if you buy one now or buy one later you may not have noticed that one has a shadow one has an engine one has a marksman one has a an artist whatnot uh, they're, they're, there's so many different little factors in the game and so that's the left wings. Now we're going to look over here. We're going to look at the right wings. That's why most Salas play. George Best. Actually, this Leroy Sané is fantastic. Joe Cole. Actually, the Rodrigo card is fantastic as well. There's not a lot of great right, right wingers. However, if you look at this, when we drop that pace, then you get messy. You get all these guys, okay? And so the, that's why you see so many messies out there. Uh, the new card, Dembele. Where is Dembele at? Dembele is very close to this. Uh, Dembele is very, very close. Let's uh, let's say if we if we take that down and we go into, I think he doesn't have the 85 finishing. Where's Dembele? Dembele, Dembele. Let's check this out, okay? We look at Dembele. We sh sh throw a hunter on him. Then he gets the finishing. Then he gets the positioning. He he's dribble Kim Sal efficient. He's good enough here. And then that's why Dembele is so expensive. Now you can see five star, five star. He's got everything here, okay? And so. You have to look at some of these base core stats before looking at the 5-star, five 5-star, five before looking at the 4-star, five 5-star. Five uh, this game is not about dribbling through your opponent as much as it is about positioning and timing now. So that that's the key on the wings. And remember, the versatility between positioning and finishing and pace and dribbling can style efficiency. That's what really matters. Passing is a boost. Strength is a boost. Stamina is a boost. Jumping is a boost. All those things are a boost to the to the gameplay. And generally, what you're looking for when it comes to a cam. Now we're gonna be talking about the cam, the cam position. Okay, center center forward, center attacking mids, cam positioning. Okay, so now what we're really looking for at minimum is we're looking for about 80 pace. We don't want anything lower than 80 pace. Okay, 80 pace is is crucial. Positioning we want at minimum 80. Finishing, we want about 85. And then dribbling, we want to be about 90. Uh, we want dribbling, uh, yes, dribbling about 90 there. Vision, we want 85. And then on the stamina, we would like to try to get to 85 on the, on the stamina. That is ideal in my opinion. And so this is kind of the, in, the entrance to the team. And look at this. These are your, quote, perfect cams okay these are your perfect cams but if we drop some of these if we drop some of these down what we get is okay so pace pace position finishing dribbling 90 85 vision so let's say we want to drop down the dribbling because we can use an engine drop the dribbling by five points and so we get these guys okay just a few more there not a huge amount but now we want to drop positioning down I would say I would rather have vision than uh, positioning because you can control the stat. Uh, so positioning drops, let's say, to 75. We get uh, not too much, not too much. Okay, uh, so if you look, uh, dribbling, dribbling, 85 stamina. Actually, let's drop stamina down to 80. See if that see if that pulls in some some unique players there. Uh, 80 stamina is pushing it. We get Dina Tale in there. So there's here's a couple more. And so these are, oh, whoop, these are center forward strikers. Excuse me. You know what? 
I'm gonna have to completely redo this. Okay, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. Um, if you guys are still here with me, I do this live, and so I, I don't like to make mistakes, and so I have to select those specifically. Center mid, cam, striker, or center forward, okay. And so now, what we want to do is we want to go into pace, and we want to go into... Uh, let's try it. Let's try original positioning 80, uh, finishing 80. We go drib agility or dribbling. When we try to go 90 vision, when we go 85 and then stamina, let's go 85, uh, cam positions highly, highly. There's a Sadio Mane in there. Okay. So Sadio Mane is in the top, top 10, uh, best cams. These are your top 10 best cams in the game. Technically by technical analysis. Now, granted, you know, uh, reactions make a huge difference. Um, I'm leaving out some key stats sometimes just because then there's just not going to be any players. If we dro drop that dribbling down to 85, like we were just talking about earlier, that opens up maybe D Del Piero. And okay, so here we are again. Talk about positioning, uh, the, the pace, let's say 80. Let's go down to 80. Boom. Pace is 80. We've got words. We got B Silva. There's B Silva as a, a true cam, right? That is brilliant. Now we're talking about, let's try to drop down to stamina. I try to keep majority of these stats high, as you can see, guys. And so Pele, we get Pele in there. Oh, here's the team two. List two, that opens up quite a bit. So these end up being your cams and majority of them are icons and for good purpose because that cam position is so unique and very very tough to fill uh that's that's going to be essentially your perfect cam it's really hard it's really hard to uh to judge those uh but uh that's really what you're wanting and essentially like that the pie card is fantastic however you guys can utilize kim styles to to build those players higher okay so kim styles do make these players into those positions that you'd like and guys, for last but not least, talking about strikers, we're just going to go all attackers here, uh, make it a little bit better for us. We want 88 pace. We want positioning to be 90 plus. We want finishing to be 90 plus. We want dribbling to be 90 plus. We want passing to be about minimum of 80. And we want stamina to be about 80. And so this is your list of perfect strikers. And that's why Mbappe is there, Salah. Di Natale, that those are your perfect strikers and that's why i love salah he's fantastic and so then guys if we go into this and we can make it even more with the five star skills so we go five star skill list that's why you get pele you get uh uh mbappe and this is actually why i would choose uh mbappe over r9 sometimes actually i'm just i'm just messing with you um the r9 card is fantastic the, the 94 He's got five star, five star makes that a big deal. But here's the thing is he's somewhat Kim style efficient here. He is Kim style efficient here, right? But that's where we can just go and boost this. And then he gets up to 99, 99, where it matters. If you look, we're just one point off of that 85. You think that is, you think that's a mistake that they did that for the 84? Do you think that's a mistake? No, it's not a mistake that EA did that. And uh, this, you know, r9 is the perfect by kim style so that's that just shows you that a player may not be in the base of those perfect players but what i want to show what i wanted to explain to you was that utilize kim styles to find these these stats and you will get much much better so if we basically drop if we if, if we go up on the pace if we go up on the pace and down on the finishing or down on the finishing let's say finishing we want to be at 80 and we want pace to be about 93. we do that he becomes a little bit more kim style efficient and then these are your players and so it you know that's where you know it, it's a it's a give and take and so you just want to keep analyzing these type of movements but majority of these filters are going to help you guys pick the best players throughout the season and so when I say, do not do this SBC or do this SBC, I throw these filters in, I check these players out, and that is how I tell you if they're worth it or not, given their market value and their links. That is the number one tip to select your players, your squad build, and analysis. And just remember that just because they don't make the list doesn't mean they can't use a Kim style to get there. That's my take on this, guys. I hope you have, I hope you enjoyed this. 
please if you actually watch this whole thing drop a like and if you want to see more type of content make sure you guys subscribe and until tomorrow guys check out our daily youtube video series where we talk about daily content every single day we'll see you guys tomorrow